Finding stock media for your video editing project can feel like a very daunting task and often disrupt your editing workflow. First, you have to come up with a concept and find a media site. Download the file, input it into your project and then place it at the right spot. It can be a lot to handle. Today I'm going to show you how you can use Brevity plugin stock media tool to skip all these steps plus the AI can even suggest you clips for your Premiere Pro project. Pretty cool, right? So let's dive in. Before you open Adobe Premiere Pro, first you need to install BrevD plugin for Adobe Premiere Pro. The installing process is pretty simple. Just click on the link in the description below the first link, then go to the BrevD plugins website, login and download the plugin. You need to use GXP installer in order to install the BrevD plugin. So download GXP installer and install it and then click and drag the installer file for BrevD plugin into GXP installer. It will install the BrevD plugin for Adobe Premiere Pro. Now head over to Adobe Premiere Pro, go to your window menu and then extension, there you'll see BrevD. Just click it and then log in with your credential. So here I have already prepared a Premiere Pro sequence. Let's see how you can use the BrevD plugins media tool to import different clips as a V-roll for your project. Open Adobe Premiere Pro and then go to Window and then Extension and there you'll see BrevD. Click here to open that. You need to use your BrevD's credential to sign in here, right? So just use your credential and then click Sign In. It will open a new window. Here you'll see two different options. One is AutoCut and Caption. So we're going to use BrevD's media feature. In order to use that, we need to first make a caption. I have already covered how you can use BrevD. I will put a link in the description also. So if you have missed that video, you can just click on that link to watch a detailed video about BrevD. I will not cover the AutoCAD feature today, right? So let's make a caption first. So here in your sequence, first you need to make an in point and out point. Go to the beginning of your sequence, then press I to make a in point and then go to at the end of your sequence and then press O to make an out point. Then Go here and click captions. There you see this window. From the first section, you need to select a style that you want to use for your captions. There are a bunch of style and I really like all of this caption style. I'll use maybe uh, this one today. So I'm just selecting that. And there you see transcription. You see two separate model here. Both are very fast and accurate. So if you have time on your hand i will suggest you to use the accurate option it will produce more accurate captions and then you need to select the language it doesn't matter you select or not if you want you can just select it from here or you can just hand over the responsibility to prevd to auto detect your language and also you can translate the caption from the language that you have spoke to another language if you want right we are not going to use that so i'll just select auto detect language and then if i click create it will upload the audio file to brevity server and then it will transcribe uh, that audio file and it will bring back that transcription and place it here in adobe premiere pro so here it's done you can see brevity has already placed a caption track here on my timeline and it has added the caption if i play it back how to take your video from beginners level to advanced level very cool looking caption right and also it has loaded the caption here in the brevity panel it's super handy because it is natively allow you to change the caption if you want to correct the caption you can directly do it from here you don't need to go to other panels or uh, the text panels you can directly change whatever you need from here right so first thing i will do that i don't want to use double line captions for my video so i can just click here on this paragraph option and then i can change the lines from two to one it will use a single line for my caption right and also you can limit the character that you want to use i think 20 is a good number for single line caption also you can increase a little bit maybe 22 or 25 you can use that if you want to change the styling you can do it from the style section you can change the preset from here again you can select a different one if you want and also you can change the position of the caption suppose you want to decrease the position of your caption so that it plays here right so you can change the padding from this section also you can increase the size of the text you can change the font so there are a lot of customization options here if you want to customize it more so i will not use that for this tutorial let's focus on how you can use the media tool right 
so once you make the caption you can check the caption from here if there is any typos you can correct those typos right so suppose i want to change this one it says v-roll but i told b-roll right so i can just select the text tool and then if i click here i can change it to bureau so you can correct all the typos like that right to use the media feature here you need to go to the media section right and suppose i want to add a media file for these lines so i will just select the wandering then maybe this much and once i release the cursor it will load this window here you can see it has made a search query using wandering because the ai thinks wandering is a good search query for that lines and also there are some media providers uh, you can use stickers gifs emojis or pixel footage pixels is one of the uh, best free stock video provider so if you want to use stock video for your videos you can use pixels right so you can see it has such some videos that resonate wandering right i'll not use that i will use a zip maybe i think this one is a funny one right so i'll just use this one so i can just click on select it will select that cliff and it will place that cliff here on my timeline right but the positioning is not right to correct the position i can select the clip it will again load that section and from here you can change the fitting option right you can see here it says bottom but if i click here i can change it to full screen then it will fill all the screen right so if i click on update it will update the clip and it will fill the screen now let's play it back and see how does that look want to take your video from beginners level to advanced level then using b-roll effectively is essential but wait you might be wondering i don't know what is a-roll is but you're talking it is looking cool again you can change the timing suppose you want to make it a little bit longer what you can do you can just select this portion and then you can just click and drag it to make the video clip a little bit longer right so here you can see it has updated the timing in real time now if i play it back you might be wondering i don't know what is a roll is but you're talking about b roll so it's a little bit longer just like this one you can retime the duration of your b-roll clips again let's add another b-roll suppose i want to add b-rolls for this section so i can just select that section it will load the search query it is just showing quality but that is not the correct search query so i'll just rewrite that maybe content creator So I will just use a stock video for this section. Let's scroll down and see which one we can use. Maybe this one, right? So I can just click on select. It will select the clip and it will place the clip here on this section, right? Again, you can just click here on this clip and then you can change the position if you want. I'll just keep it as it is, which is full screen. And then I'll just close it. So if I play it back, want to take your video from beginner's level to advanced level, then using B-roll effectively is essential. But wait, you might be wondering, I don't know what is A-roll is, but you're talking about B-roll. Let me make it very simple. Right now, as I'm speaking directly to the camera, this is an A-roll, but I am talking about how you can improve your video quality, the clip you have just seen. So it is already looking cool now one thing whenever i'm selecting a sentence suppose i have selected this sentence and if i release it it will automatically pick a word suggested by ai and search it so if you don't want that you can just go here and from the settings option you can disable it so that you can manually search it and one more thing suppose you are editing a one hour long video in that case if you select sentence and then if you search it one by one it will take a lot of time for those kind of scenario you can click here and then you can use suggested clips so if you click here then ai will suggest some clips depending on the caption that you have used right ai randomly pick some words that is suitable for the video to use as a viral and it will 
show you some clips then you can review those clips if you like it you can use it for your project so here you can see it has already suggested some clips suppose here then using v-roll effectively is essential and it has suggested a clip where someone is editing so i think that is a perfect v-roll for that section so if i want i can use that i can just click full screen and then i can just click on update it will download that clip and it will use that clip on my timeline right so if i scroll down again it has suggested another clip if i click here i can open that clip and again you can play back that clip if you want there is a option if you play it back you will see the playback of that clip if you like it you can click on update to download that clip or if you don't want to use that clip you can just click on this cross icon again here is another clip if you want to use that you can use it or you can just close it i'll use maybe this one just click here on this download icon i can download that clip without going to the option where i need to click and then i can select it i don't need to do that every single time i can just click here on this download sign to download that clip it will take some time because some of the clips are large uh, so the large clip will take a little bit more time so here you can see it has placed that clip again you can scroll down and download those clip if you want i will just cancel out all the clips or maybe i'll clip this one and maybe this two so once you review the clips if you don't want to download clips one by one you can download the clips at once to download the clips at once you need to go here and then if you click import pending it will download all the clips that are pending for that case this is the clip that is pending and again this is another clip that is pending it will download those clips you can see it has downloaded one clip and now it is downloading the last one so here you can see the another clip so all the clips are downloaded you can also use emojis suggested emojis you can click here and then click on suggested emojis it will suggest some emojis based on the caption so here it's done you can see it has already suggested some emojis suppose want to take your videos from beginner so here it has added a exercise uh, emoji i don't want to use that i can just click it uh, close it and then here is another one i can download it then if i just scroll down another one i can just download it again if i go here another one i can download it i can download this one and i can just review and download all the emojis at once so i'll just delete this one again i can go here and then if i click on input pending it will download the pending emojis and place it here on my timeline so let's wait you can see it has placed the emojis so here using brvd we have added a caption track we have added clips we have added emojis so that is what i need for a short reels. once you do all the adding process you can just export the video and upload it to your social media want to take your video from beginners level to advanced level then using b-roll effectively is essential but wait you might be wondering i don't know what is a-roll is but you are talking about b-roll let me make it very simple right now as i'm speaking directly to the camera this is an arrow but i am talking about how you can improve your video quality the clip you have just seen that was a b-roll b-roll is the additional footage that complement your main story it can be anything from shots of your environment close up of your object or action related to the topic by adding a b-roll you provide viewers with more context making the video visually dynamic one of the best use of b-roll is to cover up those awkward cuts and pauses. B-roll is also great for transition, creating a smooth flow that feels natural and professional. B-roll can add emotion too. By capturing those close-ups, facial expression, hands movements, or relevant props, you can set an emotional tone that resonates your viewers. It's a powerful way to deepen the impact of your story and make it memorable. I have been using Brevity's media tool myself and it's incredible how much time it saves by automating all those small tasks. Instead of downloading and importing and resizing, I can stay focused on creating 
activity. DVD also adding features like AI generated images and ability to access local media files plus more stock media providers. The good news is you can start testing BreeVD tool for free with a week long trial. Just head over to www.brevd.pro. For more tutorials on BreeVD's other features like AutoCut and Animated Caption, you can just click here or you can click in the link in the description below. Thanks for watching. I hope you have found this helpful. That is all for today. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Until then, goodbye.